You know, I think we've got a really competitive schedule that will prepare us for the Summit League. Uh, we open up at Wisconsin, who we typically play in the spring at home, and uh, we're going up there to, to open up our season. It will be a tough venue, uh, but our guys are excited to, to face the Big Ten right off. And then we return home on Monday and play Drake, uh, and that's always uh, been a very competitive game. And uh, Then we follow that up with uh, uh, two tournaments up in Milwaukee, uh, to play Marquette out of the Big East and uh, UW Milwaukee out of the, I think they're the Horizon. And, and then uh, we go down to Dayton and play Butler and Dayton in another tournament. So the, we open up uh, three straight weekends on the road. I think then we add a home game against DePaul. We have Bradley at home. Um, so some good out of conference, out of league. Uh, teams uh, that uh, typically are in the top of their in their own conferences, so we'll be tested, and hopefully we can come out of those games uh, at least splitting, you know. And if we if we can win a tournament, that's just going to help our confidence. But uh, it's a long season, and we really focus on being ready for the, the Summit League games, and uh, I, I think it's going to be really interesting this year. It's kind of wide open. I don't know if there's a Summit League team that's really favored. Uh, I think uh, if I look at players returning, I think Oral Roberts has a, a core guys that, uh, and they were a good team last year, difficult to play against, and, and so they should be strong. Uh, Oakland has uh, graduated some of their better players, but uh, they always have a good squad. IEPY uh, has a new coach, and uh, I think Jacob, who, who used to be there as the assistant years and years ago, and now has come back to, to head the program. So they'll have a new flavor, a new direction. They'll be they'll be different. Uh, maybe we can catch them before they get too organized. But uh, he's a good coach, and uh, I think UMKC. They always play good soccer. Uh, they've got some goal scorers back, so there'll be there'll be some trouble there. And that's a road game for us, and it's on turf, which is different than what we play on. Uh, Fort Wayne. Uh, they picked up some Canadian guys that uh, look like they had good resumes and, and if those guys fit in with their team I think uh, they could be a quality team and then we add Eastern Illinois this year in place of Centenary and that's always been a one goal game for us uh, with Eastern so there's no easy games in there and there's a lot of pressure on those six games to get into the, the league tournament so um, we're looking forward to it I, you know but the, we'll take that first month to get ready for it and I think by then because of our schedule we should be ready. The, uh, the seniors are the core of the team this year. Um, we have some ju junior college transfers from uh, that came in last year, so they joined that class and uh, led by a fifth-year cap uh, senior and, and uh, team captain Andy Ryan. Uh, this is his fifth season. He redshirted as a freshman, and the other captain is Coton Johnson. And he'll be in the center back or one of the back def uh, uh, play, uh, defensive positions. So we've got two leaders. Uh, coming in that play in the back, so that'll help us stay organized. Uh, we've got a, an exciting attacking group with Danny Lewis and uh, Alexis Dominguez. Uh, they'll be in the, the forward midfield line probably. Uh, Nathan Brunsma is one of our uh, biggest, largest athletes, a 6'4 guy, and he's going to probably play up top as a target. He's pretty dangerous in the air, and he's a good, good player to play off of. Um, uh, one of our best juniors is back and healthy. He was injured last year. Who's rep? Jupic. Expect big things out of him. Um, and then we've got a uh, we've got one of our sophomores who was on the uh, the ballot for newcomer of the year. Charlie Bales is back and he played all summer. He's fit. He looks good. Uh, he'll play in the back line or maybe even some uh, attacking positions as well. And then uh, you know the. Uh, Probably the depth is going to come from that freshman, but we, we, we found a, a one junior college guy. I think he's going to help us right away in the back lines. Hillary Esangbeto, he's a transfer from Lincoln Land in Illinois and originally from Nigeria. He's a really good athlete. He, looked, uh, he looks like he's going to help us right away. He's uh, a little bit more experienced than, than some of those freshmen. But the freshmen, uh, they're all from uh, basically from a Midwest Regional Academy teams, which are the better clubs in the Midwest. So we have two from Minnesota, uh, Adam Oseman and uh, Ebenezer Mangistu. We have two from uh, two from the Metro team that won the, the region, uh, Jared Smith and Torrance Brown. And then we have another pair of uh, freshmen out of Mississippi from Jackson, and uh, they played with uh, various clubs out of Jackson, but the Mississippi Fire Juniors Club is uh, one of the better teams down there, and they qualify for regions. So that group of six pairs of freshmen from different clubs 
And then we had one from Chicago Magic, uh, Mario Alvarez, and he's a talented midfielder. And there's a couple other guys I probably missed in there. But uh, I think the senior class is the core. We've got a couple guys in each the junior sophomore class that'll that'll get playing time. Uh, there are some seniors that are going to fight to fill those spots and keep the freshmen out of the lineup. So it's, it's going to be really competitive, and that's just going to make us better. But I'm excited to work with the new guys and integrate them with our returners. I think uh, it could be one of the better teams we've had in terms of depth and strength. Philosophically, uh, you know, the soccer is the same. I, the game is a simple game. You know, when you have the ball, keep it. When you have a chance, score. You know, defend with numbers. Uh, you know, so philosophically, I think we do the, the same things. You know, we, we teach some lifelong value uh, skill set, you know, in terms of uh, how to get along with teammates, how to, how to make your way through the world and become a responsible person. That's all stays the same. I think I'm better at it now. Uh, I'm not as quick to pull the trigger and shoot someone. Uh, you know, a little more patient, realizing that the, the, the season is a long one. It's not where you start, it's where you end. I, I think that we've incorporated that idea. And, you know, it's, it's not about winning the, the regular season. It's about winning the, the league championship, you know, because that's what jumps you into the NCAA tournament. Uh, you know, we, we've been very successful recruiting good student athletes. They go to class, they get their grades, they graduate, and some of them are very talented. We've put a couple guys in the, in the pro ranks now. Um, but, you know, overall, the game is the same. Uh, I think there's better players out there, and uh, because there's better players, because the youth system is more developed, uh, there's better players that you can recruit now. and. Uh, uh, but there are more teams playing, so it's uh, the recruiting battles are still the same. And uh, you know, we look for good athletes that can handle the ball and, uh, and and try to incorporate them to the guys we have. So we have a good mix this year. I think philosophically, we're trying to find a style that incorporates uh, some foreign international flavor with our hardworking Midwest guys. And uh, and so far, that's been a formula that has brought us some success.